Is God great? Truly, truly great. Um, anybody who's a Bible-believing, God-fearing man or woman will say, absolutely God is great. But first of all, we've got to talk about what God are we talking about? Okay. What God are we talking about? The true God. 1 Corinthians 8, 6. But to us there is but one God, the Father of whom are all things, and we in Him, and one Lord, Jesus Christ, by whom are all things, and we by Him. Okay. Deuteronomy 6, 4. I'm just going through these real quick for an intro. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Okay. People always attack that Jesus Christ being God the Father. There's only one capital G God, the Father, and only one Lord, Jesus Christ. And here in Deuteronomy 6.4, it's saying that Jesus is God. Uh, eventually, I'll do a study going through with you, brothers and sisters of Christ, that's going together through the Old Testament and realizing how often Jesus is mentioned and how often the Godhead is mentioned. It's mentioned all throughout the Old Testament, but they don't know about it because it wasn't revealed to them. It's revealed to us through Jesus Christ, to the Jewish people that uh, rejected Him. Um, Isaiah 44, 6. Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel, and His Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first, I am the last, and beside me there is no capital G God. Okay. There is no such thing as God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. There is only one God, the Father. There is no other gods beside Him. If you don't believe Jesus is God the Father, then you don't worship God. You worship Satan. And we're going to get to that. Um, Isaiah 42, 8. I am the Lord... That is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Okay. Now, I'm not going off in big studies. I did a big study on graven images. But what I'm trying to get here is the understanding that there's only one God. Okay. And is that one true God, capital G God, great in your life? Or is the lowercase g God of this world great in your life? Okay. Mark 12, 29. And Jesus answered him, The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Going back to Deuteronomy 6, 4. The Lord our God is one Lord. And this is Jesus saying it. Okay. Notice in Mark 12, 29, it says lowercase l. Okay. Jesus is the only lower, or I'm sorry, uppercase L, but lowercase O-R-D. Just like in 1 Corinthians 8, 6, there's only one capital L, Lord, Jesus Christ. So Jesus right here is claiming to be God. Okay. John 10, 30. I and my Father are one. There's only one God. Capital G, God. 1 Timothy 2, 5. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. Once again, there is only one capital G, God. And as we found out in 8, 1 Corinthians 8, 6, there's a, the, the one capital G, God, is the Father. James 2, 19. Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. Okay. There is only one capital G God. I'm trying to really bring this home to everybody that there's only one God. Capital G God. And then there's only one lowercase g God. No matter what the lost world tries to deceive you with, there's only one lowercase g God. Jude 1, 25. To the only wise God, our Savior. Capital G. Be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. Okay? You have the true God, capital G God, of the Godhead. Okay? Is He truly great in your life? Or is the lowercase g God 
great in your life. If you want to turn to Deut Deuteronomy 32.17, if I can get the words out. Deuteronomy 32.17. Thy sacrifice, thy sacrifice unto devils, not to capital G God. To lowercase g gods, whom they knew not, to new lowercase g gods that came newly up from your fathers feared not. You know today there's with right here it says new lowercase g gods that come newly up. How much is that happening today? All these different false religions popping up. Um, maybe not right now, but in the last hundred years. Uh, how many false religions have started popping up? Okay. Now, I understand that uh, Satan promised the angels that they'd be worshipped as gods, lowercase g gods, but there's really only one lowercase g god that people worship today, and that's Satan. John 8, 44. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your fathers ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a liar, and the father of it. Okay. Your father is either the capital G God or the lowercase g God. Comes always comes down to the question for this. Is God truly great? Is capital G God truly great in your life? Or is lowercase g God great in your life? Okay. 2 Corinthians 4.4 4. And whom the God, lowercase g God, of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Right now, the lowercase g God has so many people who think they're worshiping Jesus, worshiping Him, Satan. A lot of these religions that use the word, the so-called, the name Jesus, um, they worship a fake Jesus. They worship Satan. Satan's who's truly great in their life. Um, these easy believism people, they worship Satan. Uh, people who try to trade good works thinking they can buy God's grace. Uh, they worship Satan. They don't worship the real Jesus. Uh, Mormons, Jehovah's Witness, Catholics, I could go on and on, um, evangelicals, all, all those so-called denominations, they worship Satan. They don't worship Jesus Christ, the true capital G God. First um, Peter 5, 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Satan is supposed to be our adversary. Um, Capital G God is the one that's supposed to be truly great in your life, not the lowercase g God. Uh, Satan's supposed to be your adversary, and we're supposed to be sober and vigilant because today they're really trying to push people and pull them away from the real God, capital G God, the King James Bible, the Godhead, and they're trying to get you to worship Satan, the lowercase g gods, plural, of the Trinity. You've got the uh, Catholic... Um, well, the Catholic Church is the one who came out with the Trinity. Um, uh, Mormons, Jehovah's Witnesses, all those people that claim to worship Jesus, they worship Satan. They're not being sober, they're not being vigilant, and Satan is not their adversary. Okay? That's who they worship. Luke 16, 13. No servant can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God, capital G God, and mammon. Okay? Bottom line, only one can be great in your life. Capital G God, Jesus Christ, who is God. Or lowercase g God, Satan and his demons. They both can't be great in your life. Now this study that I'm going to start doing is going to be addressed to Bible-believing, God-fearing Christian men and women who are trying very hard to clean up their life. They're trying very hard sanctification, sanctify them through thy truth, thy word is truth. Um, 
that is trying very hard to have a good walk with the Lord, healthy prayer life, um, you know, a healthy Bible reading life and Bible study and applying it to your life and witnessing and testifying, um, having testimonies, all that stuff. This is directed at you, brothers and sisters in Christ. Whether the world wishes to believe that God is great or not does not change the fact that He is. And I'm talking about capital G, God. Um, but does how great God is you know, the title of this, uh, these studies, does it reflect in your life? That's the whole point. It's not asking, you know, is God truly great? Like, just like, trying to say the fact, you know? It's like me saying, is this book black? Well, duh, it's black. But it's better to say, do you use this book? Is God truly great in your life? In your life, okay? So we're going to go through some stories like I do, The Courageous Man and Foolish Man, and we're going to use testimonies and examples, good examples and bad examples throughout the Bible. How great is the Lord God in your life? So I'll see you in the first study coming up.